Happy Sunday everybody! I'm just trying to do a very quick unboxing here because it's quite late at night and we've just a second got back from Liverpool. Oh, I've got an audience, I've got a studio audience in the name of Stephen. From Liverpool? Liverpool. You just said back from Liverpool. I didn't mean Liverpool, you know that I meant Edinburgh. So, I should be more prepared for this. Hang on, I'm just going to get my phone. I'll edit this and it'll all look professional in the real world. Just talk amongst yourselves. I've just got back from Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Back a professional. Stephen's behind the camera there. Stop pressing any buttons. What I'm going to do, I'm just, I was just going to get the details of the thing I've actually ordered. This is something I'm not going to show you yet. This is another item. So, if you notice this discreet little box bag. This is the new Louis Vuitton. Oh, I'm going to stop talking when I do that. This is the new Louis Vuitton packaging. So I'm going to stand up because it's so big. So this is the, you know, always get two bags for security. So nobody can stick their hands in and steal anything and also stops any damage. So this is going to be a video done in two parts, but miraculously, <laughs> miraculously, with the, um, the art of editing it's going to look like it's all been done in one day so without further ado this is the new bag as I've just said bag number one chuck that down there Ooh. and then there is this huge big box Stephen's behind the camera doing inappropriate things with soft toys so there's in the box put Santa's little helper show Santa's little helper on the camera And when I'm in a hurry, the reason I'm trying to rush this is we've just got back from Edinburgh, not Liverpool, um, and I want to use the bag tomorrow, but I want to do this quick video now, and then I'll do the video of it being unboxed, because maybe one or two people want to see that, the rest of the people probably don't care, not to worry. Um, so I want to unbox it, because I need to use it tomorrow, so as I say, it's going to be done with the, the beauty of editing, it's going to be slipped together in a seamless TV style production. So, here's the big box. This is the first time I've had one of these new fold up boxes. So it's got this nice new blue ribbon. It looks like it should be festive or seasonal. So you get a little gift tag. I'm not going to do faff it on with this for too long. I'm going to do this quite quick. Ooh, it's got a little envelope. I'm going to do it quite quickly rather than faff on showing you a box for half an hour. Oh. <laughs> Seeing the tag inside is just a piece of white card. Thanks, Louis Vuitton. So that's that. Open the ribbon. The sales associate was called Laurel. Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Laurel and she was fabulous. As all of the ones in Edinburgh on, it's our favourite store. You can hear a click and Stephen's trying to work out how to turn the lights on in the room next door. And a creaking door and probably a bang. So there's the, the new ribbon. Nobody cares about that. There's the new box. Very excited. This is the first time I've opened it. I saw it in the store for about two minutes. And the story behind this bag was, it's a limited edition piece that's sold out on the UK website. I don't know whether that's the same as the European website or not. Sold out, so I tweeted Louis Vuitton begging them to try and find us the bag. Then they give us the number to ring of client services. So I rang them and they came back to us saying they could try and find one for me. Um, because they've done the search, I'm kind of committed to buy it. So I kind of already bought it without seeing it. Now my camera's flashing for something. Don't know why, but not to worry. Um, so I was committed to buy it. So today, this morning, literally two hours ago, that was the first time I'd seen it. So, further ado, the new boxes got a magnet closure on them, which is quite neat. What do you think of the new boxes? Do you prefer these or the brown ones? I think I prefer these because I've got a bit sick of the brown ones. So, I'm going to take everything out, show you what I got. Actually, do you want to see the receipt holder? Some people like these, some people don't. I'm not that fussed on them to be quite honest. Ooh, there's loads of stuff in here. I'm not that bothered if I see them or not. Right, because it was bought mail order, thank you for purchasing from Louis Vuitton. We use all of our expertise and craftsmanship to bring you this product. We hope you will in entirely satisfy you. Ooh. Yes, thank you Louis Vuitton. Stick that on there. Oh, returns in exchange. Because I bought a technically mail order, I have to offer the return um, policy. So that's the return policy. I might show close-ups of these. Once I've finished playing with the bag tomorrow, there's the receipt. So I'll tell you what it's called. So it is, it's a Messenger Explorer MM, which is the medium one, in 
monogram eclipse. It's all abbreviated here, so that's why I'm stumbling. So it's purchased from Client Services, and the code is, if anyone's interested, if you want to place an order, it's M40539. Um, as usual, I never say the price of them. You can find the price out yourself. I don't mind if people want to message me for the price, and I'll tell them. So here's the box. It folds up, apparently, which is a godsend, because imagine how much you must spend on getting these things shipped over. So it folds over, folds flat. Like that. Does it fall that way or that way? Oh, I don't know. I'll do that later because I'm about to break it. So there's what would have been the box. Here's the good stuff. I asked for an extra, um, one of these drawstring bags. So I like to keep them in those because you can actually use these. If you travel anywhere, you can actually use this on a plane, pop it in, then ram it in the overhead locker things. But if you have the dust flaps, like the dust bags that come with them, which are these ones, and this is the new style one, they're not really much use, often if it sits on a shelf. So, dee 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 dee! So, let's have a look what's new about the dust bag. It's got blue writing, it's a bit more modern looking. Woo! Just exposed the bag there. A bit more modern looking and a bit more. You. I was looking online before I bought this for a review on it and I couldn't see a single review. There was a kind of review on the smaller version of it but there was no commentary. Everybody likes a bit of commentary. So I looked at that video and I thought I'll give it a go and do one myself. So I'll open up the flap. There we go boys and girls. There's Stephen joining in in the kitchen. Never had a live studio audience before and I've done a YouTube video of an unboxing. So here we go, Monogram Eclipse, which is basically black monogram. So I'll just get rid of the dust bag. Do you want me to talk another 10 minutes on the dust bag? Probably not, no one, no one cares about that. So here's the bag anyway. So in all its glory, I'll get the dimensions later on and I might pop them on the screen. I should be clever, shouldn't I? I'll just pop them on the screen here. If I ever learn how to do that, there might be the dimensions might be on here. So here we go. I've said here we go a thousand times, I know. So black monogram, monogram eclipse. Got leather on the sides, which is quite a nice touch. Does it, side, does it go all the way around? Oh, I think it goes inside. Oh, sorry, I'm clattering that in the desk. So the leather goes around the sides, around there. That's all monogram. Oh, it's got some little thing inside. I might keep that because, as you know, you need to keep them nice and stuffed. Especially these, oh, there's a little care booklet inside. Especially these ones, because what happens with them is, if you don't fill them and they get cr they crease a lot, they actually get a crack in one of my previous ones that happened. So inside there was the coated fabric, cow hide, leather trim, man-made lining, the usual care cordy thing. And in this, which I've just spotted, it's actually got a little care booklet, which is the first one of these I've ever had. Can't read any of that, it's all in French. Just read this myself, Ooh, Japanese. I'll do something about that later on, maybe tell you what it is. It's just a little brown booklet. Shove that in there. I'm sure it's got a nice little stamp on it. Oh no, it hasn't. It just says, <laughs> I thought the stamp inside was a bit different. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Spain. So inside, I'm going to show you this properly, but this is just my pre review video. So inside, huge big inside, it's got a little pocket there. It's got a zip pocket there. It's got a lovely lining, zip pocket there. The lining's almost like microfiber, which is quite sweet. So there's a big deep pocket there to keep all your value wobblies. Big pocket inside. Nice magnetic clasp in a zip on the back. And there you have it. This is the part one, which will seamlessly be edited next to part two. So this is the unboxing part of it. Ooh, smell of a new Louis. You can smell of plastic. And um, so part two will be following in in five, four, three, two, one. Fast forward about a week and a little bit. Remember when I did my video, which you've just seen two seconds ago, about the new bag? Well, what I've done is I've done the first bit of the video, which is a bit of a, a brief unboxing. And now I thought I'll do something which I don't normally do, which is a... It's not exactly wear and tear because I've only had the thing a week, but it's just my impressions after using the thing for a week. Can I just say I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. It's a probably the probably the favourite Louis Vuitton bag I've ever owned. The thing I love about it is it's actually practical. Quite a lot of the bags I buy, they're either too big to be used every day, such as the big keep-alls, 
or they're too small to be used every day, which are some of the messenger bags. But this bag is absolutely, literally perfect. It's huge. So let me show you a little bit more detail about the bag. So it's got a, one of these canvas straps. It hasn't got Louis Vuitton written on it. I don't know if it's because it's monogram and it's got quite a lot of branding on it already, so it hasn't got anything Louis Vuitton written on it. It's got a couple of metal clasps which don't have any branding either. Is there anything on there? No, quite plain. Nice little leather ends. It's got a little bit of a leather touch. It's very adjustable. It actually goes really long as well, which is quite good. And there's another little attachment here. I don't know if that's just for some sort of show or whether it actually has a purpose. It's got a back zip. I'm going to show you inside of it as well. So it's got a big zip in the back, beautiful smooth zips, so there's nothing in there, just a big empty pocket. On the front there's the magnetic clasp like they have on a lot of the messenger bags. So I'm going to try not to wave it around like a flag. I'll show you what's in it as well and how much it holds. So it's got, I'm not going to do a hole what's in my bag, That's just, you don't want to see that. So it's got obviously Louis Vuitton keys. There's a video on my YouTube channel about that. I'm just going to chuck the stuff down here so it's not in the way. There's my work phone. Some bits and bobs of work, including my work pass, which I just need to disguise over there. Bits and pieces. This is one of my favourite items I own for package-wise. It came from Disney Cruise Line and it was a free gift and it's called Cruiser Cruisograms. And what it was, it was a bit like Scrabble. It had a whole load of um, Scrabble pieces inside, but they were actually a Disney game. I'm just going to change the battery. Back in a minute. I'm back. Professional as ever with a flat battery so I'll put a new battery in. Just turn my phone off. It's nothing worse than YouTube as his phone's going off every two seconds. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway this little pouch thing it's called Cruisergram and it came with loads of little A to Z pieces and you went and make some sort of game with it. But I've got two of them and it's it holds my life for me. <laughs> I might do what's in my Cruisogram pouch one day if anybody cares. Not that little. So anyway, I always carry that. It has iPhone chargers and stuff like that in it. So I've got another Louis Vuitton little key clay full of coins. A TK Max £2 wallet, which was my holiday wallet because we've just been away. And tons of other stuff which I'll just empty out now. All nice and clean and empty, apart from <laughs> another wallet in the front. So that's what, this is actually my first ever Louis Vuitton piece I ever bought. So it's a, a um, what's the canvas called again? It is Damier a bean or a Ben, depends how you say it. It's the first thing I ever bought all those years ago. It's probably about 13 years oldish. First piece, happy days. Another bits and pieces, but I just need to get rid of. So inside the wallet, sorry, inside the bag. There's a ma uh, magnetic flap and inside there's a huge inside piece which is the piece compartment and in the back there's a like a flappy bit. I may do some little close-up pictures of this as you can tell I'm in a hurry as always. So inside there's two little flaps there so there's two pockets, a big pocket, the main pocket and a zipped pocket. Very, very nice zip, people always say that about the zips, very smooth and for a bag of this price, I would hope that the zips would be smooth. So I'll do some close-ups in a second because it's not very easy showing it from here. So it's the Monogram Eclipse. So it's the limited edition black monogram. And it's got these pieces on the side, which I'm not sure if it's actually leather or not. These bits here. Does anybody know is that leather? Or is it some sort of canvas, aka plastic? It doesn't feel like leather. It doesn't smell like leather. It's very sort of hard wearing. So that's... A nice little feature. That's one of the things I loved about the bag actually, the side profile of it. So what I'll do now, that's enough of me waffling on, I'll do some close-up shots of it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to stand up now. I've got no trousers on so excuse my legs. Okay so I've moved over to onto my iPhone for filming because my big SLR, you just can't focus the thing. Not the, not the way I use it anyway. So inside it's got the Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. I saw a picture of one of these and it had some sort of limited edition um, stamp on there saying it was a 2016 cruise collection or whatever it was. But I don't know if I actually made that up. Never mind. So there's the outside of the bag and it's beautiful um, black monogramness. Absolutely adore this bag. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I hear people say things about being obsessed by the bags and I'm not usually that obsessed but I am on this one. I'm going to love it. So inside it's got pocket there, pocket there, big pocket there and inside obviously there's the 
the main part of the bag is as you can see I've used it for a week so it's already full of bits and pieces but you know it's a bag it's not it's not your child you don't have to baby it that much and inside there's these rather nice cute little zip pulls and then there's the zip as I, as I keep saying people say about how smooth the zips are but you'd expect them to be smooth in a bag of this price but personally I find Louis Vuitton zips a bit a bit stiff so there's a big pocket now which I'll be using and I do use to put my wallet in for extra security. Excuse the clattering. So on the back there's another clatter coming up. On the back there's another zip. Ooh, it's like butter. And then there is a big pocket in the back which is rather handy. That'll probably be the pocket I end up putting things in and forgetting that I've got. And then after a while you'll find all of your treasures. So the canvas is, it's a few different pieces of the canvas actually, it's more than anything else. It's got the front flap which goes over the back. Sorry if I'm boring everybody here. I am probably witching on a little bit. Then it's got the back piece, which is another bit. And then here's a close-up of these bits, but I'm not sure what they're made of. If someone knows, let me know. Is this some sort of plastic or is this very heavily treated leather? It feels like rubber. That feels like Louis Vuitton treated leather, I think. Although well, again, it's very rubberized, but this bit I think actually is plastic. And I'm sure Louis Vuitton got another, another name for it. So there you go, that's my brief. Hopefully not too long description of my new Messenger MM, which is the medium size, although this is a different size medium to the standard um, Messenger bags. And it's in Louis Vuitton monogram. I've forgotten the name of it already. Eclipse. I'm so professional. So it's Louis Vuitton monogram Eclipse in the MM medium size. Hope you enjoy that. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Come back with a little update on this rubber stroke leather. It is actually leather, believe it or not. I've just looked at the instruction, well, the little care book that came with it. Never had one of these before with anything. I mustn't have had anything. Oh, it has got 2016 on there. Maybe that's where I saw it. So this leather is actually tiger leather. So it's tiger matte leather. Um, I'll show you this little book. I don't know if, if anybody's interested. I don't know whether you're interested or not. You can pause this and it tells you a little bit about the leather. So there we go. There's a little bit of added extra for you. Hope that was enjoyable.